Hi guys, it's Jacob over here back with another video. So let me hope you guys are having a nice day slash night depending on where you're watching me from. Well, we are actually going to be doing what we normally do. Of course, educating poultry farmers and those who actually find a heart in joining the poultry industry with the problems and the solutions that are affecting poultry farmers entirely. So get ready for the video today. The topic is that how can you get more money in poultry farming? Yeah, how can you actually get more money than you expect in the poultry farming? I hope you guys enjoy the video perfectly. Poultry farming has been one of the lucrative businesses over the past so many years. But as time went by, very many people have been joining the business and have been getting lots of money from the business. So there has been increase in the poultry feeds, in the amount of the poultry feeds. At some point, you will find that the money that a poultry farmer will be getting from the business is sometimes very, very low or even nothing at all. So in today's video, like I said before, we are actually going to be showing you ways on how you can get more money in poultry farming. Number one is by selling day old chicks. This is one business in poultry farming that very many people don't look at it as something very, very profitable. But I tell you, selling day old chicks will bring you a lot of money into your pocket. Let me now cite an example like in my country, Uganda, a day old chick a layer bird is at 4,600 and sometimes you will find at 5,000 which is around I think 1.5 US dollars which is very very big. Now let me assume that you are actually selling 100 birds every week. How much are you now getting? Try to calculate that money and then look at how much you will be getting at the end. So guys if you like to start a business of selling day old chicks you will actually get a lot of money than a person who is rearing the birds and then selling the products, like for instance, the eggs and then the meat. Much as it also comes with cost because you must have a parent stock of the birds which are producing the eggs, which you will be selling as the old chicks, but at the long run, the profit is very, very profitable. That's the first one on my list today. And then number two is by brooding birds. What do I mean by brooding? Brooding is actually a process of actually mothering a chick or taking care of a chick until it's able to actually stay on its own. That is when it has now grown up, it has now put on the feathers fully and that is what I mean by brooding. So if you like to brood birds and then sell them immediately after brooding, you will get also a lot of money because there are other poultry farmers who fear the risks in brooding birds. That way they will prefer to buy the birds which are already brooded and then keep them into their poultry farms. That's the second thing that you should look at as something very, very important. And then the third one, which is very, very simple, guys, very simple, is keeping broiler birds. Yeah, you heard me right. You must start keeping broiler birds and then afterwards, don't sell them to customers directly. I recommend that you start roasting your birds at the roadside. You can also start up a restaurant whereby you will be slaughtering the birds yourself and then you will actually be getting all the profits by yourself. Like for instance, one broiler bird is at 10,000 shillings. That's one broiler bird. But, but when now you are like to roast it alongside the road, you will find that one piece of broiler bird is at 4,000 to 7,000. So calculate the pieces which are in a broiler bird and then first try to multiply times 5,000 minimum. You will find that out of one broiler bird, you are actually getting over 30,000 Ugandan shillings. But if you are like to sell it to a person directly, you will be getting only 10,000. So look at how much you will be actually living outside if you are not actually roasting it by yourself. So that is the third thing, which is very easy and most of us can actually do it by ourselves before we move on if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel guys you are doing a big big mistake make sure that you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video and more so turn on your bell notification that way you'll be notified immediately i drop any video on the channel and guys if you have any question don't hesitate just drop it in the comment section below i am willing to answer at any time and on top of that, 
We also have a WhatsApp group whereby we teach poultry farmers and they also ask questions concerning poultry keeping and then I answer them accordingly on how they ask. So if you are interested in also joining the WhatsApp group, I will leave a link in the description below and then use that link that will take you to the WhatsApp group. Thanks for doing that. And then number four, if you guys have enough capital, I suggest you start a poultry farming for layer birds. At least the number should be 1,000 and above. Because if you are like to stock 50 layers, guys, you won't actually get money which is a little bit reasonable. So guys, try to stock more birds so that at the end, you will actually get something from your business. But, but if you are to stock this little number of birds, you will actually get nothing at all. So I recommend that if there is enough money, start with layer birds, but of big number. Much as they also come with cost, but they are a little bit profitable when it comes to bringing back your money. Because the moment these birds start laying, they lay up to two years, every day for two years. So imagine the number of birds that you're having, and each bird can give you an egg after every 26 hours. So you will be actually expecting an egg from every bird and then try to multiply with the number of eggs you will be getting and then the amount you will be getting every day. Of course, it will be big. So that's the fourth on my list in today's video. And then number five, which is the last one in today's video is by mixing poultry feeds and then selling it to farmers. This is actually a business which very many people don't look at very well. The moment you understand how to mix these poultry feeds in the right ratio, guys, you can start this business. For as long as the raw materials, like for instance the maize, right now the maize is very, very low, 500, 600 Ugandan shillings. Try to stock and then buy more ingredients and then mix the poultry feeds yourself in a standard form and then you can sell them to farmers. That way, the money that you will be getting per kilo is very, very huge. But most poultry farmers don't look at this as something which brings money at the end. So guys, try to actually look on these five things that I've given to you and then see where you can actually fix yourself very well and then start from there. You'll thank me later. And then, yeah, life will be going on smoothly by your side. If you don't want to miss any of our uploads every day, just don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video hit that like button and then don't forget to turn on your bell notification that way you will be notified immediately i drop any kind of video on the channel and guys there is that share button over there yeah that one use that share button to share this video to your loved ones your family members your friends who may also pick interest in this poultry business thanks for watching see you in my next episode